Ruth is one of the sweetest books in the Bible, but I can tell you, Ruth tells you how to get a husband. <laughs> and so when we look at this, I get very excited about the book of Ruth. For one thing, she ends up in the genealogy of Jesus Christ. And she's a Moabitess, and she does it by her choices. So when you get into this sweet, sweet book, you can help you get a husband, not get rid of one, but get a husband. But also, it helps you see who Jesus is because she is mentioned in Matthew in the genealogy of Jesus. What does Ruth mean? It really means beautiful. And when you look at her, I would say she had a beautiful heart because she really stuck with Naomi and Naomi was a depressed person because she and her husband, Elimelech, had come to this area out of really a real need to have money and to have food and they just didn't listen to God. So they come into this area of Moab and there Elimelech dies and Naomi's two sons also die. But the sons marry Moabitess girls. And so we see that one of the sons married a Moabitess girl. So when the one son dies, then the other son dies, you know, what does Naomi have? She has two widows on her hands. But Naomi some way has a heart for God. She's very important in the Bible. And so she decides she will go back to Bethlehem. Do you realize Bethlehem means house of bread? She had left the house of bread with her husband and her two sons, and they had come into Moab, and both sons now die, and she's a widow, her husband has died, so she decides to go back. Now, watch Ruth. I just love her. Ruth says, I want to go where you go. Because she tells him, I can't have another husband for you. So there's no opportunity for you to remarry through me. And Ruth says, wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you sleep, I will sleep. Whatever you do, I will be with you. Did Ruth know what she was saying? See, my personal opinion is that you can know by the Holy Spirit what the Word wants to be to you. And I believe that she was in touch with the Holy Spirit. So Ruth says, I'm going to go with you. Where you die, I'm going to die. Your people are going to be my people. And that's so wonderful. And I, I think what Ruth does here is such a blessing to us because she got the right mate. <laughs> and of all things, she got in the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Now I want to stop right here because I like to see people marry the right mates. And I like to see what God, how God can bless a family. And I'm very much into generation blessing. And when you study that, you can see how the blessing comes on one generation after another after another. So when you become a Christian and you make those kind of decisions, there is a blessing that rests on your household, but the blessing just rests there. It continues from generation to generation. Now let me just stop here and pray for you. Would you like your family to be blessed and have generation blessing? Because I've gone through the Bible and I've really investigated the generation blessing. So Father, I just pray for everyone who is watching this right now that the blessings of God are on their children, their grandchildren. And I thank you, Father, that when we make the decision to follow Jesus, that blessing comes on our children, our grandchildren, and we see this in the Bible, and we see it in Ruth's life.
I pray for everyone watching for family blessings in Jesus' name. Now, I have something very special here because I have a Seeing Jesus workbook and it helps you to see Joshua and Esther, but it helps you to see Ruth too. So when you get into this, now this is not gonna be just light frivolous stuff because I want you to really get deep in the word and the word to get deep in you. So at the back of it, I have DVDs that go with it, but in it, you know, I explain to you how important this book is and I have a workbook. You say, oh, you always want to work us. You're right. Remember, I used to be a school teacher, and I like to see you work the Bible and the Bible work you. So when you get in here, you will really see also just the Pentateuch and how it works in our life. And yes, it is the seed blessing, but also it is the family blessing. I love this that there is a family blessing in the book of Ruth and that Ruth caught a wonderful husband but she did it in a very spiritual way because she liked her ex mother-in-law, I say ex because the sons all died and latches to her and when she said your God is going to be my God, man that changed everything and so then when we get into the genealogy and we see that Ruth, you know, there are only five women in it and Ruth's name is there. And so I think there's something so special here and I want to tell you how to catch a husband. What, what did she do? Well, she was a spiritual person and she took care of her mother-in-law and that impressed the wealthiest man in town Boaz, he was impressed with her because she ministered to her mother-in-law and when she came to the fields, because she's gonna have to feed her mother-in-law, who wants to drag around a mother-in-law and have to feed her too? But Ruth did. And so he sees how she works and I like there's something that I think you could have missed in this book that I just love. Every day, she took a little food that they gave them at lunchtime, the women working, and she put it in her pocket and took it home to her mother-in-law. Folks, she could have thought, I got this old mother-in-law to drag around, do I have to feed her too? But really, that act shows her heart. And so she would take the food out and she'd say, we had this wonderful food for lunch, and so on and so on. But how did she catch this rich noble man? How did she do it? Well, she did it in a spiritual way and her mother-in-law helped her. She said, take a bath, anoint yourself, get a new dress, don't look like something out of the garbage pail, and lay down at his feet because it's harvest time. And he will be there on the threshing floor, you know, because he's harvest. So. Ruth does what her mother-in-law says. She takes a bath, she gets a new dress, she anoints herself, she smells good, and she lays down at his feet. And he said, who are you? And she said, I'm Ruth. And he took her as his bride. Now folks, how do you get a husband? I know I wanted to get married. So, you know, I was, I think, 21. And how did I catch a husband? And I wanted a spiritual husband. And my husband wasn't very turned on with me because he had really committed his life to God and I was kind of frivolous. So he went on a fast for three days. And in that timing, God dealt with me to completely give my life to him and to get spiritual filled, get spirit filled. And I ended up with a wonderful husband and a God called life and God has good things for you too. So 
you know, when you get this, and I really encourage you, I really encourage you, and you say, well, I'm a man, get it. You will love it. And when you begin to fill in the blanks and you listen to the tapes, you see how this is a pattern for us to live and for our households. Thank you.